Okay, everybody, it is March 5th, 2023, and we just are at the top of Highway 18 on the backside. Just wanted to show, especially since only the locals can come up and down right now, I wanted to show them what the roads look like so you don't have to be as concerned. Literally, we just came down from right there. there. And then we're gonna do a video coming back up. desert that is so pretty and look at how pretty this is and there's hardly any snow back here you guys this is great this is this is normal usually there's hardly any snow back here even when we get massive snowstorms up there because all this dry desert air over here just eats these storms up so once they get to the back of our mountain range here they usually don't don't have much strength with them and they fall apart But we're going to do this, as I said, on the way back up as well. But yeah, straight ahead, you guys, that is the desert. That's the high desert. Such a beautiful place. The desert has its own unique, extreme beauty. catching up to anybody but I guess we are yeah this is absolutely gorgeous out here and once again as you can see there's hardly any snow and you descend pretty quickly from the top up there as you can see coming up you're gonna have no problem I'm interested to see what the three switchbacks look like, but that's way down here a bit. There might not even be any snow on those at all. But there is a place to pass right up here, and I think we're gonna take advantage of that. town this drops us off in you guys is Lucerne Valley and thank you guys very much for all the support if you guys really do like what I do please like and subscribe I would really appreciate it it really helps me out thank you here's kind of the back side of our mountain range right there part of it shut this off just past the Mitsubishi plant. I just thought I would do this for you guys. Then drive back up. I really do care. I want a lot of people to really understand that. I really, really do care. I wish you guys, the tourists, could actually come up here, though, and enjoy this place. It's just really 
really sad that when we have the best conditions we've had in almost half of a century, uh, they aren't letting anybody up. But if you guys, on the last video, the aftermath video that I drove, if you guys go to that video and just fast forward to the last minute or two, you'll see why. <laughs> on the front side of Highway 18, the other side of our mountain range, why they aren't letting people up. Especially through this area called the Little Arctic Circle, which is between the Big Bear Dam and Snow Valley Ski Resort. section at the Big Bear Dam and you look out towards Highway 18 it's it's pretty rough it's pretty scary it just looks like no man's land no there have been no heavy equipment there no footprints anywhere it's a rough situation hasn't been touched. I'm wondering why they haven't touched it. I oh, didn't mean to do that, sorry. <laughs> I was switching phone from hand to hand and my elbow crushed the horn. But this is one of the routes that I take to go on, on motorcycle rides. We go down to this cafe called Cafe 247. It's on Highway 247. It's a really great, great little joint. Often you'll see a lot of bikes there. The food is phenomenal. The owner, funny enough, comes from where I come from in Newport Beach. I believe they live up here, but they're down there every day, down here every day, to run their establishment. And as I said, it's a, it's a great, great, great little place. And they have live music, and you wouldn't think that it would get that packed because of where it's located, but boy, oh boy, it sure does. said I have no reason to be down here I'm doing this because I want to do this for you guys especially currently for a lot of the locals who are still making their way up here they're down here and uh, just want to make sure that you don't have any concerns I want you guys to be comfortable knowing that the roads are perfect back here don't know why they aren't well okay I do know why they aren't letting tourists up there it's my opinion um, because a lot of the side streets, I'm still almost getting stuck. And there's parts of the main highway up there, which are still super, super rough. I mean, super, super rough. A lot of spots where it'd be easy to bottom out and, and get stuck just, just on parts of uh, Big Bear Boulevard, like from 
the village towards the Big Bear Dam. A lot of that is really messed up still. All right, guys, so we are leaving the San Bernardino National Forest. That's what this sign here to the left says. And this is, you are officially out of, off of the mountain. See how quick that is to get from the, from the top to the bottom? But as I said, we're just gonna keep going a little bit because the views are really, really pretty still as we descend into the desert. The high desert. So they even got snow down here. They, they got a decent amount of snow, but it melted quickly. At the CHP checkpoint. Only letting residents up. I'm glad that I kept this here. O only letting us up with a picture ID. It's been pretty devastating for a lot of people up there, you guys. When the brunt of the storm hit for the next couple days, um, there were a lot of people, and especially a lot of elderly people, who couldn't open their front doors and, and get outside because the snow was so high. And that became a serious problem. That became a major concern for, for a lot of people up there. Um, they were helpless. And a lot of people really did try their best and do what they can to prep. I've never seen anyone take this storm as seriously as they did for the whole time I've, I've lived here. But unfortunately, it cost a lot of money for, for lots of this prepping. And a lot of people just can't afford to do it. So they were just crossing their fingers that it wouldn't be as bad as it was. But unfortunately, it was. And it caused a lot of severe problems up there. Thankfully, thankfully, there, there haven't been lots of deaths up there. Thank goodness. But it's been really, 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 really devastating for a lot of people up there. Um, thankfully, things are starting to get a little bit easier. But yeah, there were, there were lots and lots of people going by out of the kindness of their hearts, shoveling a lot of these people out so they could at least, you know, get out, get rides to go do what they need to do but there were people stuck inside their homes and of course we didn't have roof collapses and stuff like that all over the place but as far as I'm concerned being an elderly person really really worried about that type of stuff that's very devastating and especially for their family members who live down the mountain I had a couple people call me to go check on their parents and grandparents and some of them I could only see through the window because there was no way to get to them just really 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 scary stuff so I'm really glad it's over and uh, yeah this video heading down is over but the one going up is just about to start I'm gonna turn around at the next little intersection and we're gonna be good hope you guys take care see you in a minute Bye, you guys. March 5th, 2023.
like and subscribe for your boy. Thank you. I decided you guys to drive a little bit further to get some uh, better views. I'm not gonna record the whole time on the way back, but this is our San Bernardino Mountains from Highway 18 on the backside. Look at it snow all the way down to the bottom just about. This is so beautiful. So I'm gonna turn on the video once we uh, get to pretty close to the bottom driving up, but that's the San Bernardino Mountains right there on the backside. See you guys shortly. Okay, we're gonna do a little bit of a journey. We came all the way down to the end and then drove a little bit further just to get some a good view of the mountain range from down here. So this is basically, I mean, it's not the start of Highway 18, but when you come into Lucerne Valley and then you turn right to continue on Highway 18, that's where we're at right now. So I thought we would do the whole drive from here. So you guys can see. This is all our mountain range, the San Bernardino National Forest. So we're gonna be coming up here and then we are going to have to uh, present our ID. So I just wanted to kind of show you guys what that's gonna be like as well. But yeah, going through the desert, heading back up. We're starting to climb already. It's a slow, gradual climb right now, but it will pick up. snow but it's still absolutely gorgeous I don't remember the last time seeing snow like this on the back well, this is gonna be a cool little cruise now here's some of the high desert I don't know if you all can see too well but Once again, this is the Highway 18 from Lucerne Valley, heading up to Big Bear. This right now is the only route that I am aware of that they are allowing residents back up. As I said, I'm super bummed for everybody else who doesn't have a chance to come up and play in the snow because it's the nicest snow we've had in decades. Something beautiful, isn't it? And once you get to this checkpoint up here, where they're checking IDs and everything like that, usually it only takes you, I mean, 10 to 15 minutes to get up to the top. It's not that long of a journey, depending on traffic. Sometimes you can get some super slow pokes, which is cool. As a matter of fact, right now is just about 60 degrees. That's where we're at here. It's right there. The temperature is 59 degrees. 
Hang on a second, let me uh, get that screen to populate full screen. It's going to be in the low 30s, maybe upper 20s by the time we get up there. Got to get my ID ready. high desert over here. I don't know if you can see now. Temperature is falling down to 58 and it's going to keep falling the higher we go. What's up, my brother? You good to go? Appreciate it, man. Thank you. Yep. You guys stay safe out here. All right, you too. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, sir. Hi, what are you doing? I'm recording for my YouTube channel just to show people what the checkpoint looks like. Okay, I don't mind you filming, but it is illegal to drive with a cell phone in your hand. I'll put it down. That officer was really, really nice. He didn't want me recording while I'm driving because he didn't want me to crash. And I really don't hope he feels disrespected in any way. He was really nice to me. 
So I've got it on the mount now. You guys will notice that it's shaking. He said I could keep it on the mount, which is cool. But I have two different mounts up here. But unfortunately on the mount, they, the phone shakes like crazy. He asked me, whoa, 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 what are you doing recording? What are you doing recording? I'm like, I was just recording the checkpoint for my YouTube friends. Uh, I'm looking at the camera. It looks like it's shaking like crazy. I hope it's not too bad, you guys. I've got multiple mounts in here, but unfortunately, they're just not, they're not that great. Even the ones that I spent some good money on, they just do not... Um, I don't know, they're not good gimbals. Hold on the window a little bit. So unfortunately I'm not going to be able to turn the camera or anything, you guys. We're just going to have to stay straight on the road. But that's okay. Looks like we're getting a good view through the camera, so that's okay. told him what my YouTube channel is and he's like oh what? he's like that's so cool I've heard of you <laughs> that is awesome So this is the hardest part of the drive right here. It's these three switchbacks. They are really sharp and when there's ice, and surprisingly there is snow all the way down here. When there's ice and snow all the way down here, it can be horrible, horrible. Big trucks cannot make it through here. town will be okay. Anyway, hope everyone's doing well. It is March 5th, 2023. Those of you still watching on March 10th, I'm going to do a live feed for my birthday because I want to spend time with you guys on my birthday. I think that would be cool. I'm going to take time off my regular job and spend time with you guys all day on and off. I think that'll be great. Hopefully a lot of you show up. We have such a beautiful community here together, you guys. It's a really great place to be. enjoying what I do, please hit the like and subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. Damn phone shaking like crazy.
6,000 feet elevation. passing section we have on this part of Highway 18 but we don't need to pass on my motorcycle <laughs> literally pinned it right here snow. Once again, it's very rare to see this much snow down here. God, I wish we could take the camera and look off to the left. Once we get up near the top, we'll take it off just for a second to look at some of the beautiful views of the desert. Even though we already saw them coming down, it's really pretty. lucky to live here, I must say. I'm very lucky to live here. And we are almost done with this drive because we're not going to keep it going through town. I just want people to see how it is to get up to the mountain. To get up into Bear Valley. Hope all you residents make it back to be with your families. I'm really sorry about what everyone's going through. time with these views here yeah. I believe or maybe not nope all right guys we just passed the very top that is it thank you guys for enjoying coming with me for the drive up and down the mountain March 5th 2023 if you like please subscribe and uh, please like Take care and have a great rest of your day. Bye guys. Welcome to Big Bear Valley.